When was the last time you allowed yourself to be bored? It might turn out that you haven't really felt bored in a long time. And this is not an accident. We are living in a world where boredom is not allowed. You are not allowed to be bored. We are almost under pressure to be constantly occupied by something or the other and this is by design. And if you give me the next 7 minutes, I want to change the way you think about boredom. I'm Dr. Siddharth Warrior and welcome to my YouTube channel where we talk about neuroscience and your health. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do so, it means a lot to me and you will see more such videos on your timeline. Now there was a time in our ancient past when humans used to be hunter-gatherers when boredom played a very important role in the brain. You see, when you are bored, it is your brain telling you that the precious resources of your time and your attention are not being utilized in the best way. And when you're living in a world where you are constantly under threat, not using those precious resources of time and attention can be dangerous to you. So our brain evolved this mechanism of recognizing when are you not using your resources efficiently, which it calls boredom, and also how to quickly correct it and fix it. That's why early on in evolution, boredom was considered as something to be avoided. Now, if we take a deep dive into the brain, whenever the prefrontal cortex finds itself having no worthwhile problem to solve, it feels bored. This feeling of not using our own resources becomes a warning to the limbic system or the amygdala and that sets off a sense of restlessness or something going wrong. The amygdala then looks around the environment to find anything that can motivate itself, something that it will find useful to do, which is where the dopamine network comes in. Whatever it is that gives you a dopamine spike has been considered evolutionarily useful. That could be finding something to eat or finding someone to talk to or finding a partner to mate with. Which is why whenever the prefrontal cortex is bored, the first things that your brain would start looking for is food or sex or entertainment because that is what gives you a dopamine spike. In a very interesting study done a few years ago, scientists found that a group of people asked to sit in a room and do nothing but think did get bored, but their level of boredom became much more if they were surrounded by tasks that they could do. For example, a laptop open or a piece of puzzle that was half done. If they had some options, if they had things that they could potentially do, the level of boredom was much more when they were trying to hold themselves back. So counterintuitively, the more options you surround yourself by, the more things you have to do, the more bored you get. So what is the problem with boredom? Multiple studies have found that people who get bored more easily or get bored more often have a higher association with other problems like ADHD, with depression, with impulsive actions like impulsive shopping or high risk sexual behavior, substance abuse and addictions. This does not mean that getting bored is what leads to these problems but it definitely increases the risk of these things happening. Today we are living in a world where we are never short of things to do. If you look around you, you are surrounded by tasks that are unfinished, things that you should be doing but you're not doing, you've procrastinated doing. There's always your phone that is open, there's always scrolling that is an option and that is a task that never gets done. You can never be done with scrolling, which means there is always a task that is unfinished, which means you will never not be bored. Because every time you keep your phone away and you let your mind drift off, just knowing that there is something else that you could be doing is enough to bring you back to boredom. So in a way, we all seem to be stuck in a loop where because you're bored, you want to surround yourself with things to do, but because you've surrounded yourself with things to do, you are bored. And this is the trap that I want us to get out of. So how do we do it? Let's try to look at boredom in a different light. If this is your brain and if boredom is your prefrontal cortex not having an activity to do in that moment, let's look at what boredom can potentially lead to if you allow it to remain. First, boredom can lead to restlessness, which means a feeling that there is nothing useful for you to do in that moment. Now from here, there are two ways in which your brain can proceed. 
either that restlessness can lead to a sense of threat a sense of discomfort and that in turn can lead to anxiety which is what we want to avoid but interestingly restlessness can also force your brain to be creative it can force your brain to look for new patterns that you never looked for before and that is why so many artists so many creative people say that without boredom there is no creativity and that is why i want you all to experience boredom i want you all to feel bored for a longer period of time and observe yourself and see if new ideas come to you because every new idea every new spark can only come about if you allow your prefrontal cortex some time to find those new connections another thing that can happen from boredom is a loss of purpose and this can be deeply disturbing because you might think what am i doing i have nothing to do i should be identifying with something or the other and if that loss of purpose remains for a while it can either turn into sadness which over a period of time may even lead to a sense of depression or that loss of purpose might be replaced with a sense of inner purpose and that often leads to a greater sense of self identity and calmness so again it's often that boredom and sitting with that sense of questioning your purpose that leads to a sense of calm so this is what i want you to take away from this video the next time you feel bored don't jump to fix it allow your prefrontal cortex the opportunity to find a new idea to form a new pattern or to find a new solution to that boredom Don't jump to your phone, don't start scrolling just to get rid of that feeling of boredom. Because I truly believe that a lot of the answers that you are looking for are probably on the other side of that boredom. I hope you find it. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel to see more such videos and let me know what you think. How do you deal with boredom? I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone. Take care.